Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of Steampunk Minecraft. Last episode, we left the Swan Island, came out to this hellhole where I want to live, and we made ourselves a little house right over there. Look at it, it's beautiful. Anyway, today we have a bit of a predicament. Because last episode, right after I turned off the camera, and this is the most inconvenient thing ever, I opened the loot rewards, like for completing quests, and... I took a couple of them, and I got two netherite. Now, this is very good. However, since I did not get it on camera, I feel that some people may say that I cheated it in. And since I didn't get it on camera, I don't think it's fair. Because this mod pack is for you guys. You have to see all the good stuff. And if you didn't see it, it didn't happen. So I'm going to try and find a cactus somewhere around here. And we are going to, unfortunately, have to relinquish these two netherite ingots. I'm fairly certain that's the only way we can get rid of them. There even is a cactus around here. There might not be. Cactus? Cactus? No cactus? Or cactus? I'm noticing a very distinct lack of cactus in this desert. Um, uh, that may be a problem. We can't. Ah, what? It oh, yucca! They do that. I forgot it does that. Well, we can't burn it. Let's see if we can get to the desert before sunset. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. I love the homing bird. Oh, that's a cave. That is... Oh, that's a cave. That's a cool cave! Hold on a sec. No. What are you... You a chameleon? I want to keep you. Hold on a second. Uh... Okay. It is done and done. Where are you? Can I pick you up? Yeah, you're coming with me. You are mine now. Uh-oh, it's dark. Anyway, I would have loved to have you, unfortunately. Next time, show up when I'm on camera. What happened to those people that were chasing me? I don't like you. Oh, I have a bed. Why am I... <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of it. <laughs> Okay, look, I've been playing Fear Nightfall for like, I don't know, four months now, and you can't sleep in that pack? I, I, I'm used to it at this point. I can't, I don't know what to do. Oh, look at you! You're a whole new color! Oh, that's great. Oh, you're just a great little guy. Yeah, no, you stay in there. Oh, we can name- I don't have an anvil. Totally make an anvil. You might- Do you regen health? This one you had. Two and a half. Uh... What do we name- No, 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 no. You stay inside. What do we name you? I think you will be named- Hold on. I am- Totally going to waste iron to, just to name this guy, but, um, I think we will name you Maurice. So let's get a little name tag. A little anvil. Name tag, anvil, same thing. Get all this stuff out of here. We need to name Maurice. Maurice. Say hello to Maurice. Hi. Hey! As much as I'd love to go start digging immediately, we need to, uh... Go get some resources. Where's that hole that I liked earlier? That's the cool cave. Uh... Let's go to the cool cave for now. I 
brought fruit. Yes, I brought fruit. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, there's a mine shaft somewhere. I might be close by to it actually. Hold on. Yeah, that's it right there. Build a mine shaft first. That sounds like more fun. Oh, it's treacherous. Oh, it's treacherous. Oh lord, the treachery. Okay, here we go. Why would you have the ladder on the other side? It doesn't make sense. This is not OSHA approved. Whee! Oh yeah, it's already at the bottom where I need this. Oh, this takes durability. Huh. This whole thing is gonna be on fire. Not like that. Okay, is that bubble ore? Huh. What's this? What are you? Silver. Lame. Don't need you right now. Well, that was fast. I need to do something about that, but I'm not gonna. I need to do something about that. I appreciate the light, but not if it's going to. Uh oh. Not if it's going to. Oh, I'm burning. Oh, I'm burning. Oh, it's hot. I forgot lava's hot. Okay, I need to find a couple iron ore and then I'll come back and make a bucket. I need to find coal. Hold on a second. We got 16 torches. All in all, it was a, uh, I'd say it's a pretty okay mining trip. Iron and gold, nothing super amazing, but it's good enough for now. Uh, then I died to a creeper and I caught Maurice trying to escape. I didn't even see that one. Maurice! What are you doing outside? This is what I get for leaving the door open. Mori, stay in there. So after venturing back down and gathering all my stuff, I mined for a little more until I realized, uh, oh hey, I can't breathe. Wait, so, oh, the thin air. I forgot about the air. We can come back later. After escaping the cave with only a little carbon monoxide poisoning, I decided I wanted to upgrade my house. I needed wood, and well, let's just say I'm too lazy to cut it down the normal way. No, I needed a create mod saw, and to make this, I was going to need some iron sheets. I need to go start getting some jungle trees. It is time for deforestation! Let's be honest, we're not going to plant them back. The jungle wants to die. Have you seen how hard it is to get it to drop saplings? It didn't take that much. Turns out that the 2x2 two two trees drop hella wood, so gathering enough was very easy. Then I added on an extra room to the side of my shack, and I even used the chip mod to add texturing to the walls to make it look all rundown and patchy. This would be my main storage room for the time being until I moved into my new base. And uh, after I set that up, well, I went and I, uh, I made a gun. The, huh? Uh, oh, hold on. Sorry, I'm getting a call from my lawyer. Uh huh. I can't call it a gun? But a firearm, no? Uh, can I call it a. How about a blaster? Can I call it a blaster? Okay. Okay, so I made a blaster, and this was going to keep me so much safer than any sword or bow ever could. After doing some chores and creating a few more, uh, blasters, I decided it was time to start on a permanent base. The idea I had was a bunch of ramshackle platforms and large metal stilts all around the walls of this canyon here. So I began work on the first platform with its rim made out of viridium, because actual metal is expensive and I'm lazy. 
Next, I was off to get Deep Slate, but well, uh, Deep Slate takes a long time to mine, and it's dangerous in those caves, so I wanted to make a tunnel bore using Create Mod. Tunnel bores need brass to make the deployers, and uh, well, you get brass by mixing copper and zinc together in a cauldron with a blaze burner. We don't have blazes yet, so I started to go make a nether portal. Oh, what? Oh. Wait, is it hot around the portal? It's hot. It's hot, hot. There wasn't a fortress nearby, and it was hot. So I gave up, and I decided I'd have to dig the deep slate manually. I use this as a good excuse to go diamond mining as well. While I was very slowly mining away, I realized there was a way I could get brass without a blaze burner. The immersive engineering alloy kin allowed me to make brass and it only required sandstone and bricks, so I took that route immediately. Yes. I made a very basic tunnel bore and then took it down to the depths to mine diamonds and, more importantly, deep plate so I could keep working on my platform and, uh... Never thought I'd value deep slate over diamonds, but, well, uh, here we are. After I cooked up all the deep slate, I finished my platform, but I needed something more than just a floor. I needed a shelter. And I, uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. I dug a hole underneath my shack, and I kept putting up designs, and taking them down, and putting them up, and taking them down. I, uh, couldn't really settle on one I liked. After a while, I finally gave up because I didn't like the location I had put in. So I decided to dig a second hole right next to the first using my tunnel bore. This gave me more of an open space to work with than the original building that was placed directly on a corner. I envisioned some sort of shack built into the wall with a large net structure on top of it holding back a rock slide. In my rush to get it done, I may or may not have forgotten to add guardrails over the edge. Uh, I am in hiding while editing this because I'm sure the OSHA death squads are on their way as we speak. For a start, I think it looks pretty good. It'll definitely come together as more buildings show up. But I'm gonna end it here and move into my new base off camera. If you can't tell, I've done something a little different here with this video with me being a narrator. Not sure if I like it yet, so if you like it, let me know down in the comments below. That's all for tonight, but I will see you in the next episode of Steampunk Minecraft. Bye bye!